Greetings from Sabre Consulting. Uh, we're coming to you today just to talk about some of the things we've been hearing from people, from friends, from customers uh, in the community, uh, et cetera, about how do I work from home? How do I allow my employees to work from home? Maybe you're the business owner who is just trying to figure this out you know, for the first time, or maybe you're in IT and you're not exactly sure what to do. The concept I wanna talk about today is virtual private network or VPN. And basically what this means, you know, a VPN extends your private network, which in this case is your workplace, across a public network, the internet, you know, into your home. So that way you can be at home and you can you know, access files that you have at work. You can access resources that you and your coworkers are using uh, that you need to get your job done while you're, while you're quarantined or while you're you know, just not at work. There's a few considerations, challenges, hurdles, et cetera, that we need to discuss. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is your office and remote downlink, uplink rates. Uh, then we're going to get into split tunneling and a couple other things. So let's draw this out. So this is my office or my, you know, my corporate headquarters, whatever it might be. Um, and then over here, we'll draw my house. my home and then we also have the internet okay and so each of these locations has their own internet connection they have their own data rates you know we'll use one of our customers for example they have a 400 meg downlink and a 20 meg uplink and then we'll use uh, you know just my home for example and I think I have around 150 down and I believe I have 10 up so if I were an employee of this business and I was trying to work from home I would have particular concerns and the reason for that is well, we have a 20 mag uplink here at the office. And the reason this comes into play is because if I access the corporate network through VPN or even some other method, but if I access the corporate network and I need to download files that I'm working on, or I need to uh, you know, download a database that I'm uh, working on or, or whatever it might be, the corporate network is constrained by this 20 mag limit. So what that means is if I'm trying to get a file from there, well, we can, the file is here. So we just follow the arrows back to my house and we see the constraint being this 20 meg on, on the office and 150 at my house. So I'm not really worried once it gets to the internet and then goes to my home, but I am worried leaving the office. This is gonna take a while. Not to mention the fact that there's probably other people in other homes who are working, you know, their home, they're working from home as well. And that, you know, you. you you get enough people working from home who are all trying to access files and all of a sudden this 20 meg comes a real bottleneck. Um, the other challenge is there might be people already at the office or there might be processes or services or things going on at the office where they need to be able to push things to the internet as well. Maybe your office backs up stuff to the cloud, you know, maybe use AWS or GCP or Azure and they're backing things up there. So this can be a real problem, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, where if you have you know, a limited uplink, and you have a lot of people working off-site, there can be some real constraints. However, one thing that will help you with these constraints is a concept known as split tunneling. So if you have a VPN connection, um, <clears throat> excuse me, from your home back to your office, you, know, you don't have to funnel all the traffic back to the office. So uh, split tunneling, what it allows you to do is if you're at home and you're trying to access a file from your office location, it your VPN service will, will know that, okay, that file is coming from here and it'll serve it from there and that's fine. But uh, if your VPN service is set up using split tunneling, then it will know that the music you're streaming or the Netflix you're watching or whatever it might be does not need to go through the corporate network. Uh, in, instead, that just interacts directly with the internet. And so the split tunnel basically says, any traffic that is destined to or from my office 
go through the VPN connection, but any traffic that is destined only for the internet, to and from the internet, go directly to and from the internet. So then the, the final thing is, and this may be more for the, uh, the corporate IT staff, uh, is just how do you implement corporate VPN? And so basically, you know, you have a few choices. Some of your firewalls have a VPN service on the box. Uh, some brands such as Palo Alto, SonicWall, Meraki, Juniper, Cisco, Fortinet, and others all have VPN services on their box. Uh, you may need to configure them, but they are there. Um, other, other ways you can set up VPN is there are VPN appliances, like dedicated appliances you would put in your corporate network, such as Pulse Secure. They're in most of the Fortune 500 companies, uh, and they are very secure, and they help you manage your, you know, your remote access and, and other things as well. Um, finally, if you don't have if you don't have a firewall that has an on-the-box service or you don't have a Pulse Secure type uh, VPN appliance, you may look at uh, what is known as Windows Remote Access Server. So if you have a Windows server in your environment, um, this is a feature that you can that you can set up, excuse me, um, that will allow you to manage remote access through a VPN using re Windows Remote Access Server. So thank you for your time today. Uh, thank you for listening to this. If you've made it this far, then then I appreciate it. But we just want to let you all know that there, this is a surmountable problem. Uh, if you have a need for remote access in your corporate environment, um, it can be done. Uh, there are some considerations you need to take into mind, but it can be done. And we are here to help you if you need help. But otherwise, there's great resources available um, online and, and and through any of the manufacturers of your firewalls, et cetera, you can reach out to them. They will help you. But if you do need uh, more hands-on treatment, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, I'll write my email address as well, eric at saber.com. And you can, you can reach out to me directly. And if I can help you, I will. If not, I'll let you know. Uh, but we have a great staff that is willing able and at the ready to assist in any way we can. Thank you.